Hello and welcome to part 10 of my bicycle frame build. Uh, so in this uh, this video, I'm gonna I was basically mocked up the fender to uh, get the general location of where I wanted to put the little uh, seat stay and chain stay braces there. So I got it marked there on the on the chain stay, and then this is my marking here on the seat stays there. So basically, it's just gonna put the tubes there aligned with the line in the proper location. Alright, so I'm going to be um, cutting the little braces and welding those onto the frame. So I've got them marked. Um, these are just extra extra tube that was left over from the, um, the seat stays. <clears throat> so uh, they're perfect, you know, just use the excess to make the little, you know, one in between the chain stays and one for the seat stays to you know for some braces but then also I'll be drilling you know holes in the center of each to mount up uh, fenders for this rainy day bike. Um, I also got the the little um, uh, the um, cable stops there where the uh, cables will I'm going to weld these up onto the either side of the head tube and then I've got one cable stop for the uh, just in front of the rear derailleur. So I uh, made an extra set of little blocks, just you know, piece of wood, drill a hole through it, and then cut it in half there. So these work real nice to you know hold your work piece there to cut it or file it or whatever. And I'm gonna use for the seat stays this big round file here that's pretty close. You know, just going to kind of freehand it. I've marked it where the kind of the angle where it needs to be cut, and then I'll file it from there, and then probably use this you know, kind of half moon shaped file on the bottom end there uh, between the chain stays. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. All right, so I basically just you know mark the approximate width of the um, you know the length of the two, maybe slightly longer, but kind of just cut them at an angle there um, and uh, you know from there it, you know basically took off the majority of the material and I could just file it from this point but I got to give some props to that these hacksaw blades I got them from Harbor Freight just some cheapy they're six or seven bucks for like eight or ten of them or something like that and I'm, I'm still going on the first one and I've hacksawed quite a few things with it so far but um, yeah, that's uh, basically getting the little, you know, tube cut to the general width there, and then we'll start, uh, just take the file to it at this point, and, uh, you know, take her down from here. And, you know, another thing I did was to draw a center line on the tube there, so I would, you know, always have a good idea, you know, when I'm going back and forth. You know, filing the, uh, the you know the shape of the the chain stays there, which or the seat stays actually this tube that I'm filing here. So it's kind of just a process, you know. I kind of cut through it here, but this is basically just you know file a little bit each side, flip it over, and then um, you know just test fit it into the frame and. You know, it's just a little, I didn't really have it marked as far as the angle. I was just kind of guesstimating there on, you know, and so it was, it was actually pretty close. And, um, you know, just by test fitting it, getting it, you know, close to where it needs to be. And you can, uh, you can mark a little bit, you know, as well, just, you know, where it needs to be. A little more material needs to be removed. So this is just my first, first cut there, basically. And. You know, upon test fitting it, you, know, you can see it's not quite up to the line. The fit's actually not too bad, but it's not quite to the line there. So basically, just repeated the process several times. Um, you know, it's a little closer there, not quite. And so you know, just keep working it. And you know, this time it's getting even closer, but you know, I uh, kind of show you know, did the little. Uh, marked it there with the sharpie just to see right where I needed to remove the extra material. So that kind of, you know, is helpful. You know, 
closer you get, you know, of course, the less material you're going to be taking off. You don't want to take too big a chunk because you want that thing to fit uh, as tight as possible all the way around. So that's the final fit right there. Um, fit real nice, so it was ready to weld at this point. All right, so I got my built up a super uh, sweet um, post mount there basically just with um, you know my use my jig piece from the the axle but uh, yeah, just kind of basically fits in there um, kind of made a small indention there where the post is going to sit up so even though I've got this uh, the little uh, boss mount, the post mount jig set up and positioned, I'm going to wait for just a little bit. I ordered some uh, brakes off eBay, so I'm going to just mock it up to make sure it's all going to fit. Um, but anyway, there's my braces. I got them positioned, drilled, ready to weld, and then I also made a little jig there for the the cable stops on the head tube and. Um, you know, as you tighten that up, it kind of just positions them in place. So I went ahead and welded those up, and that seemed to work really well. That's kind of looking at it from the bottom there. But I got those on, and that's what it looks like kind of from the top view. So I thought it came out pretty clean. Um, but, yeah, I went ahead and welded up the braces. Those came out good. Um, so as soon as I get my brakes in, I'll get the brake bosses and um, water bottle holes, and we'll be good to go. So anyway... Yeah, thanks for watching.